welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our die sets outside in stitched thought bubble stackables and our stitched thought bubble frames. These work great on their own and awesome together and we're going to show you all that in this video. We're also going to be introducing our Magic Iris Thought Bubble add-on and this is so great used on its own or used of course with the magic iris so this is the magic iris interactive die and then you're going to want to layer this on top of the magic iris add-on and we're going to show you how to put one of these together as well so let's go ahead and check these die sets out First, we're gonna take a look at the Magic Iris Thought Bubble add-on. As you can see, it includes, of course, the Thought Bubble piece with the circle opening that's gonna perfectly line up over the Magic Iris. And it also has the little stitch circle on the inside where you can decorate or put your message. And then two different Thought Bubble trails going in both directions. This add-on works similarly to our other decorative add-ons for the Magic Iris, where you're gonna layer it right over the circular opening on the add-on and you'll put the Magic Iris mechanism in the background. And we're gonna be building one of those Magic Irises really soon. Then of course, we've got the piece for the inside that you're going to decorate. And we have two thought bubble trails so that you can have whatever critter or person that you want to be thinking could be on either side of this thought bubble. The other thing I really like about this thought bubble is it kind of looks like a cloud too. So you could use it as a thought bubble or as as a cloud. And here you can see how that stitch circle is going to be a perfect match for the inside of the magic iris where you're going to have the surprise of the message or decorated scene inside. Now next up, we're gonna check out the stackables die. So these are the outside in stitch thought bubble stackables. It comes with two different sizes of thought bubbles and a thought bubble trail too, which I really, really like. I like the big giant thought bubbles. You'll see that it creates a stitched window opening and a stitch thought bubble in the two different sizes. As we talked about with the magic iris add-on as well, I really like these because they kind of look like a really cute puffy cloud too. So I love that you could get really imaginative with it and use it as a cloud or a thought bubble. And there you can see the trail with the two different thought bubbles that we have in either the openings or the awesome stitched actual piece that goes from the inside. And these are the stitch thought bubble frames. So I love these as well because they can be used on their own, but you'll see in a second how they're gonna mix and match together. And here, once again, we've got the awesome thought bubble frame and then the interior piece, which looks like a little puffy cloud, which is really cute. I can't wait to use that on cards. So you'll get both the frame and the interior piece. And there's a cute little outlined heart and also a thought bubble trail. And this thought bubble trail goes in the other direction from the outside in die. So if you get both, you have both directions of thought bubble trails. The frames and the stackables are perfect for layering together and I love doing this to help create shakers. So here we're gonna layer in that stitch frame right inside the window. You can also layer the stitch frame on top of the outside in stitch thought bubble that you get too. So it goes in the window or on top of the die cut piece that you get. And so this would be really cute with a shaker where you could put like blue and white shaker pieces on the inside and then your sentiment could be stamped on the acetate on top. I think that would look incredible. So I love that you can mix and match them or use them on their own. Now next up, Shari is going to be creating both a magic iris card and a really, really cute thought bubble card that you guys are gonna love. So take it away, Shari. For this card, I'm gonna use the new magic iris thought bubble add-on. This cuts that big thought bubble that fits over the magic iris opening. And you also get these little thought bubbles going up to the big bubble. And of course you get that center circle that cuts out with the stitching detail. You are going to want to use the Magic Iris add-on panel with this Thought Bubble add-on because you will need that to cover up the Magic Iris mechanism behind it. So I've just cut that from some perfectly plaid paper and that's going to be the background for my card. And then of course I've got my Magic Iris pieces here. So I've cut the circle three times out of white. I've cut that sausage piece three times out of mermaid so it matches my thought bubble. And then I have three stabilizer pieces here. I'm going to take one of those circles and then I'm gonna take this flux capacitor looking piece and I'm gonna line that up with the center of the circle. And I'll just run that through my die cut machine and that's going to cut our little slots for the sausage pieces to fit in as well as some guideline marks for the stabilizer pieces. So I'm just going to take each of these sausage shaped pieces, 
put that little tab into the slot and turn it so that it matches the ring. And I'm just gonna do that for each of these. And of course, the tab piece is gonna tuck behind that rounded end of the sausage. And then I'm going to put a mini glue dot on those little X marks. You wanna use the mini size, nothing bigger or nothing smaller. This is the perfect size so that this moves correctly. So now that I have a dot on each of those three pieces, I can take another one of my solid rings after I move these around, make sure they're lined up with the ring first. So you can see that fits perfectly against that outer edge and that inner edge of the ring. And then you're gonna take one of those solid rings and layer it on top and it's gonna stick to the glue dots. Then you're gonna flip this whole thing over and you're gonna use those guide marks as a place to put the stabilizer pieces. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive straight out from the guide mark to the outside edge of the ring. And then the little stabilizer pieces have that little curved edge. That's gonna snug right up to the inside of the ring and then it's just gonna overhang the outside and that's where we're going to wrap it around to the front here in just a minute. So you wanna put all three of those on, then you're gonna flip it back over. And before you add the third ring, you need to add the little handle that you pull to move the mechanism. So I've cut that little handle out of some peacock cardstock. And you can see I also have the little decorative piece that's gonna go on top of it, cut out of mermaid cardstock. You want to put this where the inside curve lines up, to the right of one of the stabilizers and that handle and the stabilizer are gonna make a little V shape. Then you can put that third ring on top, add some adhesive to the stabilizer pieces that are sticking out, and then you're just gonna to want to gently fold them over to the front. So you don't want them too tight, just gently hug them over. They're not gonna go all the way to that inside edge. Stopping short of the stitching is kind of a good guide on how tight you want these. And then you can check and make sure everything moves freely. So making sure everything's stuck down and then there my mechanism moves. I'm gonna add this little decorative piece. This is the piece that goes with that add-on panel. And you're gonna line up that curve with the outside of the ring. And then we're just gonna trim off that piece of the darker cardstock that sticks out. So now that that mechanism is all created, I can add it to the back of the panel I cut out of the perfectly plaid paper. And you want to line up that little handle, make sure it's closed. You wanna line up that little handle with that notch. And I like to use liquid glue so I can move it around a little bit, make sure it's lined up before it's stuck down permanently. And I'm just checking, making sure it's moving nicely. So I'm gonna put some foam squares all over the back of this, making sure I am staying clear of that handle movement. And then I also put some adhesive runner just on the stabilizers on the back of the circle. None of the rest of it, I don't want to impede the movement of those tabs. So the adhesive on the circle is only on the stabilizers. And then I've got a guava cardstock card base here. And I'm just gonna line that up so we get that nice pink frame around our perfectly plaid panel. Now I can add that Magic Iris Thought Bubble add-on. And you can see since I use the same cardstock for my moving pieces, this all looks like one colored cloud. And then for this card, I'm gonna put a sentiment inside my thought bubble. This is from the Magic Messages stamp set and this says sending big hugs. 
Sorry for my head in the way. I was just trying to line it up inside this circle. And before I put this into the opening on my card, I'm just going to embellish a little bit with some gel pens. I'm coloring in the word big with a pink gel pen. And then I'm going to go in with the white one and color the little paper airplane on this stamp. So it just adds a little bit extra because you're coloring in these open parts of the image. So now I can add my little mice. This is from the Happy Hug stamp set. They're just hugging and they're just going to think sending big hugs. So I'm adding them in the bottom right corner and then I've got those little round bubbles that go up to the big thought bubble and that's cut from some peacock cardstock so it'll stand out on that mermaid and then I'm going to open it up and add some liquid glue inside that circle and then I'm just going to drop that die cut with my sentiment down into my circle so this is the part that cuts out the inside of the bubble so you get that nice stitching detail inside as well. And then finally I'm going to embellish with a few small hearts cut out of raspberry cardstock. And then here's my finished card. You open up that iris and you get that really fun sentiment inside. For this card, I'm going to start out with a new outside in stitch thought bubble stackables and the stitch thought bubble frames. You get two different sizes and of course these layer together. I'm also going to use some perfectly plaid paper for the background of my card. I've just cut that with the largest stitch rectangle and I've cut a piece of storm cloud cardstock with that same stitch rectangle as well. I'm going to be using the little bears from Den Sweet Den for my card. And I'm going to be making a little scene inside this really big bubble. So the background's cut from Mermaid, the frame is Peacock, and I've got a piece of cilantro here that I'm just going to cut with a simple stitch hillside. I've already cut it with the bottom half of my thought bubble, and I'm just figuring out kind of where to cut the hill for these little bears to sit on in this scene that's going to be inside this thought bubble. So I'm just going to cut that top edge of this hill with this simple stitch hillside and then you get that finished edge that these little bears are going to sit on. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece of storm cloud cardstock that's going to go on the bottom of my card and that is where my little baby bear that's sleeping is going to go. I'm just adding some liquid glue to the back of the grass and putting that down and then I'm going to do the same thing to the frame. And I'm just lining those up, which the liquid glue really helps because you can kind of shift it around and get them lined up. I'm going to add the book to this big bear's hands. And my little baby bear is going to go right beside him. And I'm just adding my plaid paper to my card base so I can start to assemble these pieces together. So this is cut with the largest stitch rectangle, so it's the same size as my card base. I'm not going to have a border on this one. And then I'm going to put that piece of storm cloud along the bottom. And then I'm going to take my big bubble and kind of place it where I want it to be. The small thought bubble here I've cut from some fog cardstock and some narwhal for the frame. And it's going to go in the top left corner. I'm actually going to use two different stamp sets to create my sentiment. I've got happy, happy, happy with the part that says you make me. And then I have that happy, happy, happy family add-on for the big happy that I'm going to cut out with the coordinating die. So I've just stamped that on some white cardstock and I'll cut that out. I'm going to stamp the first part of my sentiment directly onto the plaid. And I've just laid my pieces here for placement so I can get my sentiment spaced correctly. And I'll add that die cut piece with some foam here in just a little bit. 
I'm going to go ahead and add the big thought bubble. I'm going to let it hang off the right side a little bit because I'm going to trim that off with my scissors. So I'm just making sure that's good and stuck down and then I can start to add some of these other pieces. This bear is going to sit in that thought bubble. The little baby bear at the bottom that's dreaming. I'm going to pop up with some foam. And then once I have him placed, I can add my sentiment, which I'm putting on some really thin foam squares so it's popped up just slightly. And then I can add the little bubbles that go from the baby bear up to the big bubble. This is cut from that same peacock cardstock. And then for these, I actually cut them again out of some mermaid cardstock. And I'm going to fill the holes with the mermaid cardstock. So they're not open and they match the big thought bubble above. So mermaid in the middle and peacock on the outside. Now for my little thought bubble, it's going to go up here and it's going to be a thought from the little baby bear that is in the big thought bubble scene. I'm using the die cut heart that also comes in this die set and I am actually going to fill that in here in just a minute. And then I can go ahead and add my bears in my little thought bubble scene. And I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want the bubbles leading up. And I thought it would be cute kind of tucked behind the thought bubble that's up above. And then that'll show me where I can place my little baby bear who's having these thoughts of love for the mama bear reading the book. And then I can just take my big scissors and trim off the piece of that thought bubble that's overhanging the edge of the card base. Here's where I decided that I wanted this heart filled in a little bit more. It kind of disappeared. So I cut the heart again out of raspberry cardstock and filled the center. And then I'm going to add some stickles to it so we have some shimmer up there and it catches your eye. And then here is my finished card with those new Thought Bubble die cuts. Thank you so much for creating such gorgeous cards, Shari. I am just in love with that cute little sleeping bear and how he's thinking of the other bear reading to him. Oh my goodness, it's just adorable. And your Magic Iris card is so much fun. I love the idea of the Thought Bubble having one of those awesome sentiments from the Magic Messages set. I love that you could stamp a lot of the different messages and use the same card design for a lot of different sentiments, which is really, really awesome too. Next up, we're going to take a really cute look at a card by Elise, and I absolutely love how she layered the three thought bubbles on a slim line design. It's so sweet and so cute. She even used our awesome scripty bubble sentiments there for the I miss your hugs. So I love that these thought bubbles are a great match for the brand new happy hug stamp set. Next up, we have a really sweet card by Lynette, and I love how she's using the happy hug stamp set again with these thought bubble stackables. It's a perfect match. This card by Megan is so sweet. You can see that they're dreaming of that awesome beach scene there. It's absolutely adorable. I love those trees that she created in this really fun slimline style. Letitia got super creative and used the Magic Iris Thought Bubble on its own without the Magic Iris. And you can see just how sweet that thank you so much from Magic Messages is inside that really cute Thought Bubble. Tammy just blew me away with the slimline design. She's got that cute little fox just thinking of hugging his bunny friend. Isn't that just the sweetest card? I absolutely love it and I love these beach scenes so much. Mindy got super creative and realized that this thought bubble is going to fit perfectly over the sunburst backdrop. So that opening is the same size and I love how she put a magic messages in there and put lots of colorful hearts from our hearts and stars skinny tag die set. I love how Audrey has combined these awesome new Thought Bubble stackables with the Reveal Wheel Thought Bubble add-on. They're such a great mix and match and I love the kind of starry look and all of those stars from the brand new Hearts and Stars Skinny Tag die. Grace's card is a perfect end of the year teacher card. I love the you're out of this world theme and how he's got the little apple and he's thinking of this great scene. It's so sweet and fun. And we just can't wait to see what you guys create with these really cute new Thought Bubble dies. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day.
拜。